blood clot. The blood of an adventurer courses through your veins. You must trust me. All efforts I make are for our own and for you. Lord Kublai, if it pleases your greatness, you may take my son as your man, sir. Father, what are you doing? Well, we have to trust me. Father, this will not be forever. We are all prisoners here. Prisoners and privileged guests. A man who proves his loyalty to me can take whatever he wishes. You are not one of them. You never will be. You understand nothing. What you remember, what you see. If the gods are always watching, we might as well put up a good show. <laughs> What's going on YouTube? Jason Whitaker here for another episode of the DIY Dad. And today we are in my home theater. You just watched a movie trailer for Marco Polo on Netflix. And how cool is that? So I'm going to take you a quick tour around my home theater uh, and the current setup and some ideas and thoughts on some projects that I want to do in the future. And if you have thoughts or comments on some things that I should do in this room, uh, please comment below. So follow along and let's get to it. So let's talk about what we have up front. Uh, we are looking at a 135 inch Elite Screens uh, screen right up here. And we have our left, center, and right channel. Uh, these are all clip speakers. Uh, I believe they're reference speakers. Uh, just want to let you know, uh, in case you're ever thinking about doing something like this uh, in the future or thinking about doing an upgrade in your home theater, uh, some of these components uh, I was able to get at a local store and uh, saved a lot of money by getting some of these by open box. Also, uh, like these two tower speakers right here, uh, these are hand-me-downs. Um, I, uh, I was given them uh, to me by a family friend uh, when I completed a project. Uh, awesome sounding speakers, so I'm so glad uh, that she was able to give those to me. And when you're watching movies, uh, you definitely want to be comfortable uh, sitting there for two plus hours. So what we have here are the power reclining seats. We have a total of eight chairs, independent seats. And let's look at the carpet real quick. We have, you know, little uh, film reels on the floor which is kind of cool. Uh, we also have the LED lights uh, that are on both sides of the room so when the lights are off kind of gives it some more ambiance. And what I'm using for Wi-Fi uh, down in my movie theater is a Euros uh, Pro 6. Um, I'm running gigabit speeds inside the house so I want to make sure that I can push the amount of speed that I want to my uh, 4K Fire Stick so I can get uh, HD video. All right, so we have a, a couple posters uh, on this wall, one on this one. The reason why some of them are missing, and I'm sure your dads and moms can relate when I say that uh, my kids were playing around in here. They thought it'd be fun to run around the chairs. They knocked them down, broke the frames, but a future project that I want to do here is to build acoustic panels um, using um, movie posters uh, to help dampen the sound, keep the sound inside this room. So that'll be a future project uh, that I'll be working on in here. So when I bought this house, uh, the movie theater uh, was pretty much in place uh, in here. So what they did was they put the left 
center, right channel. They're running a left and right here, as you can see, and they're, they're running the surround rears in the back, all in the ceiling. Um, what I did was obviously, I already showed you earlier, I upgraded the uh, front, left, center, and right channel there to give it a fuller, better sound in this room. Uh, so these speakers will be coming out here and there. And I plan on maybe keeping this one here and that one there, possibly even the ones in the back. And what I want to do in this room is a Dolby Atmos sound. If you don't know what Dolby Atmos is, it gives you 3D sound because it gives you your height and uh, the sound circles the room. So what you need to do with that is also add speakers to the left and right of your listening position and also on the wall over here so I get my rear surround sound. So another project that I want to do in this room is uh, repaint the whole room. So it's got, you know, gray on all walls except for the front stage area, which is uh, black. But I think we can do a little bit better job. Uh, you can see some roller marks. Uh, there's some holes in the paint uh, from when they uh, were hanging posters. Uh, the lines aren't that crisp. And the sheen on these walls for the sides also reflect light. So usually in a movie theater room, you want to pick a matte finish, um, possibly a satin finish, but more likely a matte finish. Uh, so there's less light reflection uh, in the room. So that'll be another project as well for this room. Uh, they did do a good job with also painting the ceiling black. Uh, that is a flat black. Um, but I think we can do a better job repainting this whole room. And when we take these speakers out uh, of the ceiling, because uh, these are not connected anymore, we're going to go ahead and patch those up and we're going to have to repaint anyway. So this is one of the areas that I definitely want to improve. Um, right now my receiver is sitting in a closet uh, off to the side underneath the stairs to my basement. And um, the shelving uh, is not ideal for a receiver. Uh, air circulation, not ideal. Also, you know, if I want to add more components uh, in this space, it's not the, the best looking. Uh, I like to look, make it look a little bit cleaner. So what I'm running for uh, sound and video in here is the Yamaha um, RX A760. RX A760 is the part of the Vantage. Uh, this is a 7.1 receiver, possibly a 7.2, not exactly sure. Uh, but it does a really good job, I think, of uh, producing a really good picture to the projector. Uh, and also uh, does a really good job for my 7.1 sound system. All right, so for the projector, I'm running a BenQ. Uh, this particular uh, projector is DLP, Digital Light Processing. It is 1080p. I have a future upgrade in mind. Uh, I would like to get uh, four, possibly even 8K uh, in this movie theater because with the uh, PlayStation 5, I hope to be getting soon, um, I would like to be able to play video games uh, down in this room. So my current setup uh, in my movie theater is a 7.1 surround sound, meaning that I have one subwoofer. So I'm running one 12-inch Clips uh, powered subwoofer in this home theater. The room is uh, approximately 20 feet by 30 feet, um, and this one subwoofer fills this room. Not sure if I'm going to uh, upgrade to a two subwoofer system in this theater, but um, let me know what you think. Leave your thoughts below. No movie theater is complete without a popcorn machine. We have a small fridge. And of course, you got to have all your different flavors for your popcorn. And don't forget the extra butter. Thanks for visiting my home theater today. Um, as you can tell, we got some work to do. Uh, but I hope you follow along with me in 2021 uh, with some of the upgrades that we're going to do in this room. Uh, if you like my room, let me know. If you don't like it, let me know how I can improve it. Also, please don't forget to smash that like and subscribe button. It should be right about there. And 
let's end this uh, video with a trailer from one of my favorite movies, Endgame. Enjoy. God, it seems like a thousand years ago. I fought my way out of that cave. I became Iron Man. Realized I loved you. I know I said no more surprises, but I was really hoping to pull off one last one. Thank you.